Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Double Reward. The Quran is a great book. It's a clear book. It's a book filled with wisdom. And in this program, we're trying to learn from that wisdom. And we're trying to be touched by the Quran. We're going to be reading some surah or some surahs. And also, we're going to be learning the rules of tajweed. Today's surah is about man's mad rush to acquire worldly gain. Now, worldly gain is not necessarily a bad thing. It's okay to strive to acquire good things, pleasures, because Allah wants you to thank. If you don't have pleasures and you don't have things that you go after, then you won't have a reason to thank. So Allah wants to give you these things so that you can show gratitude. But what happens when it gets out of line, when it becomes unnatural, when it, com- when it becomes um, strange? What happens when it drives us to wrong our brothers, to, go, to grow arrogant? This is what the Qur'an wants us not to do. The Qur'an wants us not to be diverted by our desire for worldly gain from our real purpose in life, which is to worship Allah and be good Muslims. During the time of the Prophet ﷺ, some of the Arabs began to boast. They said, we have a bigger tribe than your tribe, or our family has, is greater in number. And the other Arabs said, well, no, our family is greater, and our family is bigger. And what happened was, they got so wrapped up in trying to show who was better, they went to the cemetery to count the dead for each family to see who was greater. No, this kind of madness we should not have. Let's see what the Quran says. A'udhu billahi min shaytan rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhaakum al-takathur Hatta zurtum al-maqabir Kalla sawfa ta'lamun Thumma kalla sawfa ta'lamun Kalla law ta'lamun ilm al-yaqeen لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمِ ثُمَّ لَتَرَوُنَّهَا عَيْنَ الْيَقِينِ ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَئِذٍ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ So you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, um, He talks about how on the Day of Judgment we'll be asked about the pleasures that we've enjoyed. Let's listen to the translation of that. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The mutual rivalry for piling up of worldly things diverts you until you visit the graves. Nay, you shall come to know. Again, nay, you shall come to know. Nay, if you knew with sure knowledge, verily, you shall see the blazing fire. And again, you shall see it with certainty of sight. Then on that day, you shall be asked about the delight. So you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that on the day of judgment, you'll be asked for your delights, for your pleasures. Allah will want to know how you enjoyed them. Did you thank Him for them or not? Were you excessive? Did you remember to share and give with others? who are more needy? Now, now that we've talked about the surah, let's practice it together here in the studio. Are you guys ready? Inshallah. Okay. Uh, Inshallah, I'm going to say it, and then please repeat after me. Okay. And also, um, please repeat after us too at home. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhaakum al-takathur. ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين 
كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الهاكم التكاثر الهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الهاكم التكاثر الهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم ما شاء الله الحمد لله رب العالمين Okay, let's practice some individual recitations Are you guys ready? Inshallah Okay uh, I'm, We're going to read them I'll listen to you one by one and we'll look at uh, you know what you're saying etc try to um, help you with your uh, recitation inshallah uh, Why don't you start? Um CD. Start with uh, um, the beginning of the surah, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, al-Hakum al-Takathur. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, al-Hakum al-Takathur, hatta zurtum al-Makabir. Okay, one second. Start from the beginning one more time for me. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, al-Hakum al-Takathur. Okay, hold up here. Now, uh, remember, we have uh, in Arabic, we have the ha. And we have the ha. Okay? Let's practice those two. Can you uh, repeat after me? Ha. Ha. And then ha. Ha. Very good. You see the difference between them? Yeah. The, the ha has a little soft, gentle hissing sound. Whereas the ha doesn't have that sound at all. One more time. Ha. 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 Okay, very good. So this is al Hakum al-Takathur. Okay? Go ahead. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Hakum al-Takathur. Hatta zurtum al-Makabir. Okay. Hold up here. Now remember we've got two letters. We've got the Qaf and we've got the Kaf. Okay? When you pronounce the uh, Kaf, you pull the corners of your mouth back. You go like this. Kaf. The Qaf... You bring your lips together. Okay, can you say ka? Ka. 
Good. Now I want to hear the qaf sound. It comes from the back. Qaf. Qaf. Good. So can you do that for me? I want to hear maqabir, not makabir. Okay? Maqabir. Alhaakum uh, al-takathur hatta zurtum al-maqabir. Go ahead. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhaakum al-takathur hatta zurtum al-maqabir. Excellent. Very good. Keep going. Kalla sawfa ta'alamun. Thumma kalla sawfa ta'alamun. Kalla law ta'alamun ilm al-yaqeen. Can I hear you say kalla law ta'alamun? Instead of kalla law. Kalla law ta'alamun ilm al-yaqeen. Okay, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between kalla law and kalla law? I don't know. Uh, like, can you, well, what does your ear tell you? Kalla law and kalla law. It's more strong than. Okay, yeah, it's longer. Al- it's longer. That alif, we're, we're saying we're pronouncing it for a longer time. Okay? So we're saying kalla. See that, that, la, that alif after the lam? Okay, instead of kalla law. So kalla law. Go ahead, go ahead. Kalla law ta'alamun ilm al لترون الجحيم لترون الجحيم لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألون يومئذ عن النعيم ثم لتسألون ثم لتسألون يومئذ عن النعيم Very good, ما شاء الله very good. Mashal, you learned very, very quickly. Uh, brother, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What's your name? My name is Abu Yusuf. Abu Yusuf, mashallah. You have a son? Yeah, I have a son, Yusuf. Mashallah. How old is he? He's two years old. Mashallah. May Allah bless him for you. Thanks. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Albania. From Albania, mashallah. Okay, that's very good. Ahsant. Uh, Usama, are you ready to read for us, inshallah? I'm afraid I have not memorized it. Okay, that's okay. Inshallah, we're going to talk about that after we come back from the break. Inshallah, we're going to stop, and we'll be back shortly with Ahkam al-Tajweed. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Allah the Most High and Merciful says, Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and fair preaching. Do you want to join Huda in calling to Allah? Do you want to spread the message like the prophets did? Do you want to share in the blessings and rewards? Why not support Huda towards these noble aims? Why not sponsor a program of your choice? If you would like to help Huda in spreading the correct message of Islam, please send an email to support at huda.tv or call plus two zero one four. Three two seven one double seven one for more details, or fax plus two zero two three eight triple five two five one. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Uh, Sam, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Are you good? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's practice two ayahs, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhaakum al takathur. Alhaakum al takathur. Hatta zurtum al maqabir. Hatta zurtum al Hatta zurtum al maqabir. Okay, very good. Uh, Usama, did you were you able to practice uh, for today's show last night? No, I didn't practice last night. I practiced, though, this morning. In the morning. How long did you practice for? Around 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay, you got to get more than that in. But how much do you usually practice? An hour, an hour and a half. An hour, okay, that's good, inshallah. Uh, all right. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Um, what's your name, brother? Ahmed. Ahmed. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Bosnia. From Bosnia. MashaAllah. Do you have any children? No, unfortunately not. Are you married? No, but I plan. Inshallah. I plan to do that. Very good. 
Okay, can you read for us uh, starting from the third verse? كلا سوف تعلمون. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم. One one more time. كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين. كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين. Okay, uh, we want to focus on the same issue here. There's the I want to hear you say يقين وثقاف. Okay. Okay. Say that for me, and then Ahmed will go to you. Okay. كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين. يقين. كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين. Okay, we're going to have to work on that, but that's that's an improvement, inshallah. Ahmed, can you finish it up, please? Can you finish up the surah? Should I start with Bismillah? Because we're starting mid. Yeah. Yes, you can start with Bismillah. That's the correct thing to do. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You can start reading from La Tarawunna al Jahim. Okay. La Tarawunna al Jahim. Thumma la Tarawunna ha'ain al Yaqeen. Thumma la Tusalunna yawma idhin an al Naim. Okay. Uh, can you say for me Thumma la Tusalunna? Thumma la Tusalunna. Good. Um, very good, excellent. Now we want to get into today's uh, rule of uh, tajweed. Okay. Now, uh, sometimes you have a letter that's coming after a noon, uh, a sakina, and it's not quite pronounced like idhar, but it's not quite pronounced like idgham. It's pronounced somewhere in the middle, and this is called ikhfa. In ikhfa, the noon sound hides, because that's what ikhfa means. Ikhfa means to hide. So remember what we said about um, the ivhar. Ivhar was to pronounce and articulate the noon clearly, completely. In idgham, that was on the other side of the spectrum, and that was the noon was completely gone and assimilated into the letter after it. But ikhfa is a little b- bit different. It's somewhere in the middle. So the question we want to ask ourselves is, so when does ikhfa apply? Ikhfa applies when you have a noon sakina in any one of the letters um, that you see, uh, the sod, the dal, the tha, the kaf, the jim, the sheen, the qaf, the seen, the dal, until the end of the list. So you're probably thinking to yourself, whoa, all those letters, how am I going to memorize them? Well, there's a way to do that. There's a line of poetry, and inshallah we're going to practice it together, that has all the letters, and it has a nice, beautiful meaning. The line is, صف ذا ثنا كم جاد شخص قد سما دم طيبا زد في طقا ضع ظالما Now let's break that down. And I'm going to be asking you guys some questions. The first word is صف. Okay? Um, Abu Yusuf, what are the letters of صف? صاد and ثا Good, excellent. So now we know the first two letters of ikhfa are sad and fa. So whenever you have a noon sakina and a sad or a fa, you know that ikhfa applies. Okay? Uh, Usama, the thana. What letters do you hear there? The thana is dhal. Uh huh. Alif. Uh, okay, well, uh, no, actually, n- n- how about the thana? What sound do you hear there? Zal. Uh huh. Thana. Noon. Thana. Tha. Uh huh. And? Thana. Noon. Do you, do, you, mm. do you hear the noon? Yes. Now you got to be careful because the alif is not one of the letters of ikhfa. Okay. The alif um, <coughs> is one of the letters of ivhar. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Moving on to the other letters. Um, Ahmed. Kam uh, jada. Kam jada. We have kaf, uh-huh. and then mim, and then uh, jim, wadal. Dal. Very good. Actually, your name is Ahmed, and your name is Ahmed too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I guess we'll go by the older. You can be Ahmed number one, and you can be Ahmed number two. Okay. Okay. 
Um, Ahmed number two, are you ready? Yes. Okay, listen carefully. Shakhsun qad sama. But let's stay with shakhs. What letters do you hear there? I hear a sheen. Uh huh. And al ghain. Is it is it shakhsun or is it shakhsun? Oh. Okay. Akha. Good, excellent, very good. How about qad sama? I hear a qaf. Good. And um Qad and uh Dal. Good. How about Sama? Sin Alif. No, sama oh, mm. Mim. Mim. Okay. Very good. Dum Tayyiban. Let's start here again, Abu Yusuf. Yes. Dum Tayyiban. We have here Dal. Uh -huh. And after that Mim. And after that Ta. After that Ya and Ba. Actually, the ya is not one of the letters of it's tayyiban the ba, uh, straight into the the ba, inshallah. Okay, uh, Usama, uh, the next one, zid fi tuqan. Zain. Mm -hmm. Dal. Fa. Ta. Noon. Zid fi tuqan. Ya. Yeah. How about the Qaf? Oh, Qaf. Did you, you, you yes, missed that, Yes, I heard huh? the Qaf. <laughs> okay. Um, Ahmed, number one. Okay, it's Dad mm -hmm. and uh, Ayn mm -hmm. and Za Walam uh, and Lam and Mim. Uh, actually, the Lam and the Mim, it's only the first, in this case, it's just the first word, okay. the first letter. The Lam and the Mim uh, okay. Are letters of uh, idgham. Okay. okay. Now let's practice that line together, inshallah, all of us. Repeat after me. Sif the thana. Sif the thana. Come on, a little bit louder. Sif the thana. Sif the thana. Kam jada shakhsun. Kam jada shakhsun. Kads qad sama. Qad sama. Dum tayyiban. Dum tayyiban. Zid fi tuqan. Zid fi tuqan. Da'a zalima. Now this is a very clever line of poetry because it um, it admonishes you. It tells you to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to, to, to have God-fearingness, to be a good person, etc. And inshallah when you hear it again and again you'll be able to memorize it. So now let's focus on the sound and practicing the sound of ikhfa. So let's look at some examples because that's the best way to understand what ikhfa is. The first e example that we have is uh, fansab. Now remember what we said about learning Ahkam al-Tajweed, that we're going to look at the word, we're going to ask ourselves, how is this word pronounced without the rule? Then we're going to apply the rule to see the difference. So let the example that you see is, is pronounced without ikhfa, fan sab. With ikhfa, it's pronounced fan sab. Let's practice that here together. Repeat after me. Fan sab. Fun sub Fun sub Fun sub Fun sub Now I bet you that second time you heard that something happened to the noon. It wasn't articulated completely. Did you notice that? Yes. Okay. And the reason for that is because of ikhfa. The noon is hiding. That's what ikhfa means, to hide. Okay, let's move on to another example. Uh, this example is pronounced without ikhfa, anvarnakum. With ikhfa, it's pronounced anvarnakum. Repeat after me. Anvarnakum. 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 Okay, let's get some more practice. Uh, the next example is pronounced without ikhfa. Al Untha. Can you hear that noon, Ahmed? Al Untha. Yes. Now, what's going to happen when we have ikhfa? It's going to hide. It's going to hide. Mm. It's, you're not going to be able to hear it as, clear, as yeah. clearly. And also, you're going to draw out the sound a little bit. So, let's practice. Al Untha. Al Untha. Al Untha. Al Untha. Al Untha. Okay, another example. Uh, now let me ask you guys a question. Um, 
Abu Yusuf, do you see the noon yes. in, uh, in the, the example that we have? Yeah, I see the noon. Okay, what letter is after it? Tha. Uh, is it tha? Listen with your ear. In kadarat. Is kaf. Exactly, kaf. So what does that mean? What rule, is apl what rule applies here? I think ikhfa. Ikhfa. Why? Because there is no nusakin, uh -huh. and after it is the uh, half kaf, and it is one of the letters of ikhfa. Excellent. Great. Very good. So let's practice that word. In kadarat. In kadarat. In kadarat. In kadarat. In kadarat. Very good. Let's look at another example. Uh, this is pronounced without ikhfa. An ja'ahu. Repeat after me. An ja'ahu. An ja'ahu. With ikhfa, it's pronounced. An ja'ahu. An ja'ahu. Okay, now let's recap and kind of summarize. First of all, Ahmed, mm -hmm. can you tell us what a nun sakina is? Yes. Okay. It's a nun with no after sound. Okay. And it's you know, it's stable. There's it's ju it just makes you know. N okay. Very good. Uh, and now it doesn't have any of the harakat on. Very good. It doesn't have a fatha or a kasra or a dhamma. Yeah. So whenever we have a nun sakina like this, um, and then we have one of the letters of ikhfa, which we saw at the very beginning of the show. Um, then we have ikhfa. Very good. Uh, Ahmed, number one. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, what, you th what ikhfa is? Ikhfa is uh, hiding of the nun sakina mm -hmm. when it comes uh, 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 in front one of those letters that we just mentioned. Okay. So either we have the nun sakina coming af after one of the letters that we talked about. Yeah. Okay. Very good. MashaAllah. Mm. Uh, Usama, can you tell me a little bit about the, the quality of the sound that you hear? Can you describe the sound? In the Qur'an or...? No, in the Qur'an, yes. It's uh, almost a hidden noon. Okay, but you, did you notice that we are drawing our voice out? Yes. Like, for example, we didn't say, in kadrat. No, there was a pause. We were holding our breath a little bit. Or we, we were holding the sound. We said, in kadrat. Did you get that quality... Uh, and, and what I said? Yes. Okay, practice that with me. In kadarat. In kadarat. In kadarat. In kadarat. Okay, very good. So when you have the letters of ikhfa and a nun sakina, the nun sound is going to hide and there's going to be, you're going to hold your breath for about two instances. Inshallah, that's enough for today and we hope to see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.